for we be. Amen. Father, as I thank you, dear Lord, I bless your wonderful name. I thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, to come before your sons and your daughters. I'm asking Holy Spirit for your for your leading, for your guidance, and for your instructions. Father God, we come as an empty vessel, Lord God, under our outpouring Holy Spirit, and we're ready to be filled to the overflow. I thank you in advance for what you're going to teach us tonight. In the wonderful name of Jesus, and we say amen. 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 Thank the Lord God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54, verse number 16. The word of the Lord God says, I'm reading from the New King James. It says, Behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is for me, says the Lord. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers here and to us of his almighty word. And we said amen. 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 In case you're taking any notes tonight, which I pray that you are, All the title right. of tonight's message is God's Got You. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. Hallelujah. God's got you. Thank you, Lord God. I made it personal. I put, he got me, God. <laughs> tonight that God's got you. God and the God. word that we're looking up tonight, you know I always have a message with the word. The word is weapon. 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 Well, we've been hearing a lot about weapons lately. Come on now. We've been hearing a little, a little too much about weapons, but we're going to get the right weapon tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Weapon. In case you're wondering, brothers and sisters, this message tonight is a message of hope. It is a message to bring forth hope in times of adversities. It's to bring forth strength when their people are weak. The Lord God is calling for us to understand that God's got you. You need to be strong and confident in Him no matter what you're going through. God says, I got you in the name of Jesus. And that's why He said that we need to understand in this word that He's talking about Isaiah 54. When He spoke it to the prophet, I know they were talking to the people of Israel, but I believe the word is ready for today. That people of God, God wants you to know that no matter no matter what's happening, he got you. Amen. I don't know, but if you're voting, I wonder if you turn around and tell Amen. somebody, God's got you. God's, God's got, got you, bro. God's got you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's got you. must understand that God's got you, people of God. Hallelujah. That's what the shout. You better be glad I ain't got no drums up in here. That would be a pounding right there. You must understand, people of God, as I mentioned, we hear a lot about weapons, right? Am I, am I right about what we're going through right about now? There a lot of talk about weapons and guns and yeah. things like that. But I want you to understand that the weapon that we're going to be talking about today, the weapon that God's saying that believers need to utilize is prayer. Amen. Amen. And prayer can Come be a weapon. Lord. But yeah, people of God, I looked up the word weapon. Weapon is a thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage, which we are pretty much aware of. Amen. The, a, a, a type of weapon is a sword, a gun, a spear, a blade, and as I finalize, words. Amen. Words can be a weapon. You may not realize it, but somebody might have cut somebody just just by looking at and by the words that they spoke. I don't know about you, but I've been hit by more so my more weapons of word than I have been with a real weapon. Am I preaching in the right house today? Because people have said some things about me just like they're saying some things about you. Come on now. But I want you to know those things have been weapons. And if I was weak, it would have destroyed me. Oh, thank God. Thank God because God got me in the name of God. I don't care what they may be saying, but I'm here to tell you that God still got me in the name of Jesus. I want you to understand that no matter what words are being spoken, people have got many don't understand this passage, but you must know that whenever things like this begin to happen, when conflict or arguments or things come up against you or against your spirit, man, understand it's not because of you, it's because of God that's in you. Come on now. That's the only reason why, because the enemy doesn't like you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. In case you don't realize, the enemy can't stand you. The moment you got saved, you became an enemy. Come on now. The moment you got saved, the devil said, you know what? I can't stand you. I can't stand the ground that they walk on. Matter of fact, his plot, his plan 
that comes to destroy you every single day. So you might as well get over it and understand that, that we are always at war. You know, a lot of times people say, well, you know what, every time I, I hear you talk, you talk about fighting because we're in warfare. Amen. There's not a time. When do you see the enemy take a break? None. That, that brother don't sleep at all. Come on now. And you know, the people of God, we're always needing rest, but thank God, God doesn't sleep. Amen. The Bible says he's up whenever he's in his watch. So he stays up all night, all day. He allows us to take rest, but thank God that God is not like man because he stays up all the time. I'm saying that to let you know that the enemy is relentless at getting you destroyed. He will not stop talking about you, lying on you, doing things coming up against your body, your health, your mind. He attacks you in so many different areas. So I want you to understand that the word that the prophet Isaiah is talking about, he said no weapon for. He didn't say that there wouldn't be a weapon, but the ones that are there, there wouldn't be anything for. There's going to always be something coming up against you. Always. always, whether it's a person or there's always, even if you do your best on your best day, where it's a best, there's always somebody that got something to say. Am I about it? I'm going to tell you, cross all your teeth, dot all your eyes, and somebody just say, look at it here. You miss one thing, my God. One thing nobody else knows, but they got, you know. I call them the Holy Ghost cops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know I'm, what I mean by that? I don't mean it in a, in a yes. ugly way, but I'm just saying yes. you're so spiritual. You miss, you miss. You know what? You damage a person. Come yes. on now. Everybody got fought. Like last time I, I looked in the mirror, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I don't care how I say you can speak in tongues in a hundred tongues, but you still must understand that everybody was sin. There's not none of us that's here that's actually arrived. We are all striving to do better. And if you're not striving to do better, I look for the Lord to take it real soon. You know. Because, you know, as long as you're in this world, we're always working in areas. That's why that caution tape is up. You know, I don't want to put it, that caution tape needs to be wrapped around us several times. Because be careful. Be careful. Because dangerous now. Be careful. You never know. I'm a work in progress. And that's not so I, I give God glory for that. That lets me know God can teach me something. God can minister to me. Because whenever you get to the point where the Lord can't correct you, you got some problems on your Amen. So I'm saying that to let you know that even though you may think, wonder why things keep happening, I hope this helps someone out because you're one. Well, you haven't done anything wrong. I've been good. I do all that I'm supposed to do. I'm respectful to my parents. I, I help those that need help. I do. And the enemy still keep messing with me. You're like, you know what? I'm eating the right thing. I'm doing everything. And my body's still cutting up with me. Come on now. And I think, you know, but you yes. don't understand that those are weapons that are formed. I want you to know that the weapons will always be formed, but the point that you need to understand is that they will not prosper. That's right. That's the big thing right there. Don't get so caught up that something is coming up against you. Every time you do something, have you ever started a project and before you know it, there's an obstacle? Yeah. The moment you said, I'm going to do this, all of a sudden, there's something in the way. That, that's how the enemy does. Every now, if you hadn't decided to do it, the obstacle probably wouldn't have come. But well, because you said, you know, starting today, today is the day, I'm going to do this just the way the Lord got. The moment you open your mouth. 10, 20 things come up in your direction. Am I right about it? That means the enemy is forming weapons right there. Amen. Trying to see I'm going to get it a quick. I'm going to use myself as an example. You said, well, you know what, Lord God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fast from something. The moment you open the moment. <laughs> The moment you say you're going to fast, wow. I use that as a good example because you know we like food. The mo you know I like food. Correct myself. The moment I say I'm going to fast from a particular, I'm not going to have that anymore, Lord. I'm just going to give it up. I'm going to consecrate myself. The 20 people. <laughs> I'm like, my God. Now, nobody asked me what I was saying. The moment I said I'm going to refrain from it, you get an offer. And let's you certainly, like if you said, well, I'm not going to participate in that. I'm not the, the thing that you said I'm going to refrain from, Amen. that's the thing that you know, begins to put. That's a weapon that's for You're thinking it's maybe, it's like, well, you know, they didn't mean it. I'm here to tell you. They may not have done it on purpose. But it was a weapon that was for Because the enemy said, you know what, let's form that. Let's see it. Let's see if I can get it to stumble. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, that's the devil's wow. point. And he doesn't care wow. nothing about you, sweetheart. Oh, come on now. He doesn't like you at all. A lot of times we get it confused that, you know, 
you know what, why, why do I keep getting in trouble? I remember I used to cry out, Lord God, why am I always getting into, you know, getting myself in situations? Yeah. What's wrong? I'm doing everything yeah. right. When I realize it's not because that I was doing things right, because I'm dangerous to the to the devil's yeah. kingdom. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he knows yeah. if I can get myself together, yeah. I'm going to get some other people yeah. together, yeah. and we're going to bombard yeah. hell. Yeah. Come on, yeah. take all yeah. souls out of there, yeah. and we're going to, yeah. Lord God, uplift yeah. heaven yeah. Yeah. quickly. Yeah. We're going to yeah. fill yeah. it up. Yeah. 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 We're going to get them out of love of God. Yeah. Because whenever I can tell you that I'm delivered from the spirit of rejection, yeah. then the enemy's like, wait a minute. Yeah. She got delivered and she talking about, you know, she can get 20 more people that was feeling yeah. rejected. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they get saved. And yeah. all of a sudden they think they can do all things through Christ yeah. and strength and them. And then he didn't mess up. So that's why the enemy forms those weapons. He forms those things. You know, I never was really one to talk. Can you believe that? <laughs> really? I was, you know, you can mm -hmm. get a sheep peep out of me. <laughs> Nothing. My grandfather said, he said, you know what, my, my grandfather, he's in glory right now. And I was a pawpaw. I don't know if many of you know what that is. Mm -hmm. I was a pawpaw girl. And I'm here to tell you, my, my grandfather said, you're going to go many places. And I didn't understand. He said, because you don't talk much, but you hear. I was like, all right, Lord. He said, because see, a person who's going to be excel, they talk less. Hear that means you know when to speak and when not to speak. And I didn't understand that kind of like, oh. And then so it, it went down on the record. You see what God, he had spoke a blessing over me. And the enemy turned around and said, you, you can't talk. You don't speak. Yeah. All right. So, you know, they said, I had, see, he was trying to, he was blessing me. But the enemy tried to say, you know, so all of a sudden when I would talk, people would override me when I'm talking. I mean, have you ever had that mm -hmm. done? Mm -hmm. so, I used to think, they don't do it no more. <laughs> but they used to. You know, I would talk, you didn't talk at all. And, you know, all of them have no voice. And I would be like, money. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, I, I, I opened my mouth big and wide. No more, devil. Mm -mm. They're like, wait a minute, I said, the only person who will shut me up is Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to the kingdom of God, you can't shut me up. Mm -hmm. When it comes to praising, I already told me, if it comes to the point where I have to die or praise the Lord, you might as well just make prepared away. Mm -hmm. I'm, what? Well, well, I'm going to go out yep. praise him. That's going to be the best praise okay, you yeah, ever yeah, seen yeah. in your life. My God, you're going to take it, you ridiculous. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you ain't said nothing yeah, yet. Yeah, 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 I'll make that little yeah. thing right there. Jump, watch <laughs> If that's how you're gonna tell me, I've got to be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! But see, I'm saying it because the enemy was using it as a weapon mm -hmm. that I couldn't speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I felt like I couldn't speak, I couldn't read programs in class. Anybody ever been there? Teacher calling you? You all choked up, yeah. sweat, yeah. I sweat. And by the time they by the time they finish, all of a sudden you you didn't sweat so much. You, you forgot what the question was. You know? And see, that was me. That used to be me. I couldn't get it together. And I, then then I went to then I want to go to college. You know, and then I want to go to seminary. And top that off, and then the instructor would ask me a question. And surely I would seem like every heat in my body felt like that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And I'm saying that because it was a weapon form. But then all of a sudden when I started speaking the word, that thing started extinguishing. I mean that devil began to pack up. Because when I start speaking his word, my God, I got this holy boldness inside of me. And I said, no devil in hell going to be able to rob me of my blessing from the Lord God. I'm going to say, thus said the Lord. And all of a sudden, don't let me say it's written. Oh, my God. That devil hates that. I tell that devil, don't you know that I'm the head and not the tail? I'm above and not beneath. Oh, I am blessed coming and I'm blessed going. He gets so upset about that. When I started preaching the word and reading the word, all of a sudden, those weapons that were formed in the area of man. So you're wondering how, that's how I got here today. I told you, man, I'm going to make it on record. This is a year. That's, that's going to be the book that's coming out. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And you're going to hear it right now. It's called From the Pew to the Pool. That's right. Come on. Oh. From the Pew to the Pool. 
And I mean, I was in the back of the pew, come on, to the pulpit. That's it. Wow. it took all that I had. I couldn't even Man. open my mouth. And the Lord God wow. said, but those were weapons that were formed. And if you've ever been in that type of situation, and, and I speak mainly for women, because at times we were silent in so many areas. We weren't mm -hmm. allowed to speak. Mm -hmm. Am I preaching at the yeah. right yeah. now? Yeah. There were just certain things, you know, and even people would even sometimes tailor the word to tell us to be quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Come on now. I know you scripted to the twist. Oh. Oh, oh, I know the devil hot right about now. Those are going to be listening. They're like, oh, yeah. But it's true. But you must understand that's not the Apostle Paul didn't hate women. He had many women ministered that ministered right along with him. He was just saying, you know what? There was a time and a season that were worshiping false gods at that time. And that's why he was saying, don't adorn yourself with earrings. And, because it was considered a goddess mm -hmm. that they were worshiping at the time. I'm going to teach you a little bit. Come on, Come on yeah, yeah. if it's all right. Because see, yeah. many of you don't know. Well, it says, don't adorn yourself with earrings. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Don't wear makeup. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I, I'm not ready. Don't, don't wear, you know, they got all these, but God said, I'm free. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. God said, free is what free is. And I'm going to tell you, my little girl was just saying, if a barn is a little rusty, put a little paint on it, baby. Put a little paint on it. Fix it up. Tack it up. Pull it in. Straighten it up. Come on now. Let's not everything just all get out of the. Keep it together. Yeah. Amen. God got good looking stuff. You must understand. Yeah. Make a tour, make a 40 year old look 20. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. And I'm the way to 40, so you. <laughs> 40 is long gone. Five hours in the house. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God. You must understand I'm proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But yet, like I'm saying, but see, God keep his children looking well. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, and I, I know it's off of the message, but you need to understand that, that the Apostle Paul was not saying he did not love women, he did not appreciate their calling. But see, teaching and doctrine were told that we couldn't talk. And so even with that, we have a lot of anointed women sitting that should be up. And not just on the mission field, I mean preaching, teaching, instructing. We're not just intercessors. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on now. We're not just good to clean the toilets. Come on now. Amen. We have an anointing too. And I'm saying that because people of God, you need to understand your place in God. And when that, that was, see, that was a weapon that was formed. Whenever they told me to sit down, that's when I started talking more. Come on now. A weapon that was formed that said that you have no voice. And even in today's society, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You see, we do have freedom of speech. Yes, yes Lord. Come on, come on. We are open and available to speak. Amen. We're not illiterate individuals. We're highly favored. We're called, we're made in the image of God in all different shades. Yes, yes, yes. And my daddy loves color. Yes, come on now. He made the rainbow. Yes. Amen. Did he not? So with that being said, I know that he does love and he does desire us. Amen. And so you do have a voice. I'm saying that to say, if there's anybody in here who struggled with speaking publicly, the Lord God said that weapon is about to be destroyed. You're going to say exactly what you need to say, when you need to say it, and how you need to say it in the name of Jesus. And that, see, that, that was something that was formed against you and trying to stop you from going forth in your destiny. But the, but the prophet here was telling us something that you need to understand. Things will be formed. Things will be formed. Words are going to be said about you. I did not, not mention to you that weapons can be words. Yes. Yeah. People, weapons can be physical as well as spiritual. But the purpose of those things is, of course, to know to stop you. Am I right, about it? Yeah. But you need to understand that no matter how many times that the enemy put those things in your pathway, that God says that he's conqueror of those. That those things are not going to stop you or hinder you. I come here today to let somebody know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yeah. No weapon. Nothing that they're talking about you. Nothing that they're saying. I don't care if they don't like you. Well, you know what? They didn't like you. Jesus Christ. Right. And that didn't stop him from raising, rising up. Come on now. And what we made in this image, come on now. I'm saying that to let you know and to put the devil on notice. That enemy, I see you. <laughs> but you cannot stop me. You can form, you can talk about me if you want to. But the Bible tells you, you better keep your mouth open for this. Because the scripture does say, touch not my anointing and do not prophets no more. See, you need to hold on to that.
that because you're like, wait a minute, I'm not a, yes, you are. The Lord God said, I am anointed. You're anointed and appointed. And the Lord God said, whenever the enemy talks about come up against you, he's coming up against God. Come on now. That's how precious that you're like, wait a minute. God loves you that much. He said, whenever the enemy tries to put his hand on you, that means he's trying to put his hand on me. Shut the oh, You must understand because we are his creation. So that's why the enemy attacks people. Of God. Why do you think people get attacked more than animals? Come on now. You may be God, you know, the animals are wonderful, but a, a, a dog not going to go through what you go through. They're not, you know, no matter how much mistreatment, because the enemy knows well, what God loves. God loves his people. Mm -hmm. yeah. God loves his sons and his daughter. So why do you think we're attacked so many areas? We're attacked in our body. We are attacked more than anything else. So no matter what takes place with your pet or even mm -hmm. even the trees of the of the ground, and I, I don't have nothing against watching after nature, but the enemy, no matter how much he may attack your atmosphere, it's you that he's after. The enemy's after you. And whenever you try to put your hand on God's property, you've got to answer to God. Now, come Amen. on. You've got to answer to God. I, I need for somebody to tell the neighbor, God's got you. God's got you. Amen. Tell somebody else, God's got you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. I come to let you know, people of God, that even Job, Job, Job 5, 7 says that we were born to trouble. We were born to trouble. So keep in mind, you're wondering, well, why, why am I going to? I'm saying that to try to free somebody up because in case you're going through a Job-like experience. Come on, Jesus. Well, one thing after another. Do I got any raw people in here? Shut and just keep going. Door. One thing after another. Just when you get one news, before that news happens, you get somebody, get something else happen. Before you hear about one child, then you hear about another child. Before you hear about a job, then you got your job, your marriage, your child, your home, and then all of a sudden you, your body want to act funny with you. I got anybody in the house. One thing after the, when you get the child right, then your body start acting funny. Am I right, buddy? Come on now. And the Lord God said, but Job is trying to let us know that we were born to trouble. That means that we were going through, we're going to go through some things. Don't get discouraged but because you're going through a little yeah. trial. Don't get discouraged because you've been in this pandemic. Oh, come on. Don't get discouraged because this plague has been roaming around robbing your jaw and your peace. Just understand that God says, I got you in that. That's why I told that thing to step back in the name of Jesus. You see, you're here today. Come on now. The enemy is not tempered with you just yet. And he doesn't have a right to. Come on now. You must understand God says, I have a shield around you. Some of you need to be, you need to be so jumping about that because he said, I have my shield around you. You're covered. You're wrapped around. He said, I've sent forth in, in Psalms 34. He said, I have my godly angels in camp. Around me. Do you realize God says, I got my angels in heaven? Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, I believe in angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Oh, yes, they got boring angels, yes, fighting Lord, angels. Lord. Everybody, when you're yeah, born, let me let me teach some of you. You may not realize, but when you're born, God assigns an angel. Amen. Come on now. You're like, wait a minute. You have an angel with your name, it has your DNA. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You have the moment that you're born, there's an angel. But you know the devil has a counterfeit yeah, too. Yeah. So he on. sent his angel too. Yeah, they have a dark angel. Yeah. The moment that you're born, they said, Let's send that one, but that's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the godly angels are in camp oh, all around those that fear the Lord. He yeah. said, I've sent them to go before you and they got your back. Yes, they got Lord. you all hemmed in. Yeah. No matter what the enemy may be trying, the Lord God said, I I, I can't seem to get to them because they got these angels. Yes, yes, oh, come on, yes. Lord God. But that's why I know that God's got us because no matter what the enemy's trying to do, it's right. not going to prosper. Right. It will he will not be successful. Right. I come to serve somebody some joy. No, no matter what the devil's trying, he will not be successful yeah, right. because it will not prosper. That's right. Man, man. He's doing it, but it's not going to work. Yeah, Woo, and you, ever, you ever told somebody, you know, that's a popular Thank phrase nowadays, I Lord. got you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said, you know, I don't care where you're going, but I got you. And whenever you hear that, you're like, wait a minute. That gives you a sense like, you know, that means they got your back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Somebody tell you I got you. Mm -hmm. That man, I don't care. That they can act a fool, but we right there. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, the Lord God said, I'm telling you that today. Come on. Hey, I don't right. care what they may be saying about you. They, they may have given up on you, but I ain't going to give up on you. Come on now. They may have walked away from you, but I ain't going nowhere. The Lord God said, I got you. Whenever you hear that in the natural, whenever you hear, you know, somebody said, I got you. You get that sense, you can let your guard down. Am I right about it? Yeah. If somebody tell you, I got you, that means you don't have to worry about it. I put it to you this way. If you get ready to go to the store 
and you don't have enough. And somebody mm -hmm. said, don't worry about it, I got, I got you. you. Yeah. 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 Don't you feel a little bit more confident because you're like, Woo! You know, because you know you didn't already. You really didn't have it, but you were going to try to make it. You know what I'm saying? Am I right? Am I right? I mean, you know, you were going to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You see, that's how I do. I'm going to try to make it happen. I believe in my faith. It's going to work, Lord. And surely enough, and somebody said, "What well, about you?" Whenever you hear that, what does that make you? That means you don't have to search for it no more. That means you don't have to look for the rest of the money. Ooh, that means you don't have to look for this. How about the Lord God's telling you today, "I got you," and you're trying to like, "Oh God, I don't know if I'm." I'm going to be able to pay that bill. He said, don't worry about it. I got you. Come on, Holy Ghost. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I'm going to make it on that job. Don't worry. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a high five myself. Come on. In the name of God. Because you must understand. You see, you are just about to walk out. You're just about to walk out. You see, you said, Lord, I don't know if I can take this anymore. You see, the weapons were forming. She's not doing this right. She's not doing that right. As a matter of fact, this. She running five minutes late and then she should have been ten minutes early. Everything you do, you should have did it five minutes ago. And everything that you need to do, you feel like you were running late. I didn't know what the enemy kept piling it up. Piling it up, piling it up. You couldn't take enough bathroom breaks today to get it together. Come on now. But it's all right. And it's all right because the Lord God said, daughters, sons and daughters, I got you. The Lord God said, just when you thought that you were at the end of your rope, the Lord God said, I got you. He said, no matter what. And whenever God told you that, like he's telling you that, today, you don't need to worry about it all. They were going to write you up, but they can't write you. <laughs> Some of you are going through it too. Amen. Where well, things have been said about you, you feel like, Lord God, I can't, you know. The Lord God said, I will vindicate thee. Amen. And that's Psalms 43. The Lord God will tell you vindication. That means you don't have to answer for yourself. God will answer for you. Thank you, Lord God. You must understand. See, you must know from whence I've come from. I used to quote that scripture every single day. Because they were wronging me. They were saying I was doing some things I wasn't doing. They were saying, they were trying to accuse me of something, certain things. And trying to, you know, back in my single days, I wanted it. I don't want your man. I don't want your problem. I don't want your headache. I don't want your... Come on. Yes, Lord. Psalm 43. I would read that constantly. I said, vindicate me, Lord God. And you believe it or not, it was a woman of God, and she just said, why don't you read that? I didn't know. You know, when you're a babe in Christ, you didn't know. And I started reading it every day. And the Lord God said it was vindication. And I did, at first when I read it, I got upset. And I was like, Lord God. And he said, no, no, no. Whatever they are accusing me of, I'm going to answer them. Yes, oh, yes. See, wait a minute. He said, and see, that's good to be quiet when the Father tells you to be quiet. Amen. He said, you don't even have to, you know, in the Bible, I learned in Proverbs, don't answer a fool according to the Lord. When they start saying this about, don't, you don't have to answer them. Just look at them real hard. <laughs> and I said, thank you, Lord God. And now that we, see, now we got the masks, we can start with you can drop <laughs> like, listen, that's all I can see is the breathing. <laughs> What's going on? You <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a puke type in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Like the, but all of a sudden, you said, 
something I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I let them know exactly where they're coming from. Work the man. You're a giant. You have no power here. None. I said, I'm about to get your hand. Oh, yeah, you know what? Cut them down to size. I'm in a tip. Now, as the believer, see the believer, we need to use that. See, all before they, you know, we have to pray, you know, just. Now you can fight, sir. Really sick. Oh, you can. 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 Oh, you